Guys, I called you today to show you a faster way of working, you will be really pleased. Less stress and faster work. I don't know if I can handle that. Are more people finally being hired? No. Does that mean I don't have to do my gym exercises anymore to protect myself from standing at the machine for hours? You are very funny today. No, I'm talking about the data preparation. You can spare a few steps there. You mean in Autodesk Fusion 360? Don't tell me we don't need to open EOS Print anymore. Well, actually, Rachel, you hit the mark. Oh, and how are we supposed to assign exposure parameters and send the job to the machine? I invited Manfred to show us exactly how this works. Let me just switch on the screen. Um, sorry for that guys. Here is Manfred. Hello my dear 3D print pals. Today I will show you how you can use ES Print without even opening it, directly from Autodesk Fusion 360. But let's start with some basics. As you all know, the workflow of data preparation in additive manufacturing includes basically three steps. 1. Designing of parts in a CAD software. 2. Data preparation, for example in a 3D printing software like Magix or Autodesk Fusion 360. Strictly speaking, Autodesk Fusion 360 is a combination of CAD and CAM, but to keep things simple we will use the term data preparation software here. The basic tasks of data preparation include the repair of parts and the creation of the support for metal parts. 3. Preparing data in a CAM software like EOSprint. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. EOSprint is the interface between the data preparation software and the machine. Important steps in the EOSprint software are Assignment of process parameters to parts and supports. Buildability check and build time calculation. And sending the task to the machine. But did you know that it can be easier and faster? You can perform basic functions like these in your data prep software even without opening ESPrint. This is made possible by the integration of ESPrint features into the data preparation software. Let me illustrate this with the example of Autodesk Fusion 360. Here you see some parts, prepared in Autodesk Fusion 360. Normally you would now open ESPrint to do the build check and send the task to the machine. But with the ESPrint integration you perform the last steps also in Autodesk Fusion 360. Have a look. The build time calculation can also be done in Autodesk Fusion 360. By the way, in Autodesk Fusion 360 you can also check the risk of a recoder crash. The last step we want to look at is the export of the build task to the machine. You see that with the EOS print integration the last steps of data preparation can be done much more faster. Ask us for our solutions, we have ESPrint integrations for many CAD and CAM solutions. Thanks Manfred. But now I wonder for which tasks I really need to open ESPrint. Of course you need to open the ESPrint software for special features like part hatching origin or the creation of new parameters. But the standard workflow can be shortened considerably, using the ESPrint integration.